Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Kristen Hildebrand here at Mammoth Cave Transplants. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Joanna. Kristen's succulents are so popular right now and we have kind of come, I've never seen so many succulents in one spot and you're going to tell us today a little bit more about these. Yes, so there's just a lot of fun with succulents right now and you know even whenever I first started learning a little bit more about succulents there is a wide variety of different types that you can find available. So check out what your local garden center or nursery has available and really look at, because you can see from the table we have set up here, Joanna, it's very, very different from one variety to the next. And so there can be a lot of textures that are involved with some of the different succulents. So it makes you almost want to go up and touch some of them because you can tell like some of them might have a little bit more hairy, pubescent hairs to it. Others can be, you know, just almost look like prickles, but you know, they're kind of soft and they have their own interest to them. So it's really fun to kind of explore even with the color palettes too. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see we have bright green to some of the lighter greens, even some nice blue accents with the purples. So, and one of those things that makes succulents so fun is that they're really, really easy to care for. And so a lot of times people will consider succulents for their home and it looks good throughout the year. So the one thing I wanted to talk about specifically are some of the different types. With uh, succulents, uh, you know, the sedums can be a lot of fun. And you can see we've got some right in front of you right now that it almost makes you want to go up and touch the leaves. And you can feel that there's a lot of water content to it and it's a lot of fun, especially with the textures involved. Now this one, this particular one that we're looking at right now is called Firestorm. So you can kind of see with some of the, the Firestorm look, we've kind of got red uh, tinge around the edges of those type of succulents and then it's more kind of a lighter green on the inside but still a nice plant and it works really well for that container. The one that we actually have in front and it's really really cute I really like it you and I were checking it out before we came on set this one's called Love's Triangle so some of the names are even fun to kind of look at too but this one's really soft and delicate makes you want to feel right across of it but this one's another type of sedum that you can find in the succulents so one of the other ones joanna that you can look at is the genus for Crashula. and so some of these kind of remind me of the jade plant type look so if you're familiar with that as a house plant these can be a lot of fun as well the one we have here is called sunshine so it's really nice it looks really good uh, crashula obeda is the one this one is um so it's a little bit taller in size I really like this one, and it's also in the Crashula genus as well. It's got more of a curly type of a succulent leaf to it, and it's also got a little bit of a tinge on the outside, which kind of gives it a little bit more interest as well. The other one that you can kind of look at is called Echeveria, and it kind of looks like that hen and chick look. So you can see we have a couple of different ones, and it kind of has more of a rose set type of a look to it, kind of more in the center. Um, but this one's pretty cool too, uh, and it's got a double one, um, and I really, really like the color. So it's going to contrast against some other green forms will give you some other interest. And we always have to talk about some of the fun ones, especially with succulents. Like this one is my, one of my favorites. It's called Panda, and you can tell if you rub across it, you know, you can feel that texture, that uh, pubescent, hairy leaves that are on it, and it's kind of got more of an upright growth habit. So if you're putting it in with some other, it'll kind of give you a different uh, texture and growth habit as well. This one's fun because it's got that heart-shaped leaf to it. So this one is actually from the Hoya uh, type of genus with the, the succulents. And this is just a sweetheart type of a plant. So if you want to give it to your sweetheart, <laughs> you know, that might be a good one to give. And then, you know, especially when you're thinking about containers, think of things that will actually trail out and give you some interest, kind of soften the edges. And so this one we looked at, and it's actually called, um, with a dolphin, string of dolphins. So if you look really closely, you can see that dolphin shape. I just love the way that that one looks. So that would be a nice little way to soften the edges of your container. Or you can also look at a string of bananas. So uh, I really, really like that. And it does give you that banana type look. And I don't wanna forget this little guy, but this is called Hobbit. And it kind of looks like something you would find under the sea in the coral reef. 
So there's just a lot of fun with a lot of these different succulents. Again, really easy to care for. And if you ever have any questions whatsoever about succulents, you can always give us a call. All right, Kristen, thanks for the information. And if you have questions about raising succulents, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.